Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now presented by Tennis Express. Get your favorite tennis gear at TennisExpress.com today. Rod Laver Arena can be a cauldron of pressure and nobody handles that heat like Novak Djokovic. After dropping a set in each of his first two matches, a ruthless Novak Djokovic dispensed two bagels and allowed just three games. He absolutely destroyed Adrian Manorino and reached his 14th Australian Open quarterfinal. And marching right along, chasing his 25th major championship, Novak then took on Taylor Fritz for a semifinal spot. Now, if you watched his early rounds, you saw Novak defeat both his opponents and a few rowdy Rod Laver Arena fans who also challenged him. In his third round win over Aussie Alexi Popper and Novak got fed up with an apparently drunk fan who kept hurling insults at him. Early in the fourth set, Nole walked to the back wall, stared down the heckler and called him out, saying, you're such a tough guy, why don't you come down here and say it to my face? Afterward, Djokovic wouldn't repeat exactly what the fan was yelling at him, but he admitted he had reached his boiling point. That he had tolerated the nonsense for most of the match, but finally he just had enough. Now the anger may have helped Novak, because since that showdown he won eight straight sets. Now I gotta say, the incident really shines a light on Novak's superpower. He's not just the GOAT, he very often plays his best tennis when fans turn against him. John McEnroe, who knows a little bit about this kind of experience, says that Djokovic is the greatest he's ever seen when the crowd is against him. He says Novak can find a perfect sort of sweet spot where he's able to use that as fuel and he plays better. And he also adds that Novak's ability to stand up to hecklers is the greatest mental quality in his arsenal. Now, obviously, Nole enjoys strong fan support as well. Serbian fans have come out very strong in Melbourne, waving the flag and cheering Nole on. But when rowdy crowds challenge the Serbian superstar, they almost always get stomped. Novak says it's simple. If you cross the line, he's going to respond. The 10-time AO champion's mental strength turning a negative into a positive is part of the reason Nole has dominated down under. Will it happen again? We'll be watching. I'm Grace Carter. See you next time here on Tennis Now.